Hello! I'm such a child. I'm such a child. Why that... Why that was fun to me, I don't know why. I just started playing with the OBS and fiddling with bits. I'm a child. Right, today is a massive day. We haven't gone on too far because we've got the Europa League first knockout stage drawy thing. Um, also, the Italian Cup first round against Entella. They're in the Serie A. No idea. But hopefully it's going to be a good one. We're continuing this good form. We've still not been beaten. Bring it on. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to episode 17 of The Journeyman, and the series continues to get better and better. This season is essential, I was going to say. This season, essential viewing. <laughs> right, so after the heroic draw against Juventus, in which we battered them without scoring more than them, but we did. It was amazing. We scraped a win against Genoa. Um, Van Doom getting the only goal. It's a pretty poor game, actually. It was disappointing. And again, we I know we've won three games, and I don't want to sound... <laughs> I don't want to sound, like, you know, not, not happy about this. I'm very happy, but we just haven't played well. Those last three games. Luzerne, we beat 2-1. Um, Harry Owen scoring the winner. Let's have a look at that in a second. Um, Gino Belletti, they saw they went one nil up. They're the supposedly weakest team in the group, and they actually did pretty well. If we look at the group, I think they yeah they finished third. They picked up three draws and a win, so they can be proud of themselves. Um, but they sort of it took us a while to turn that around. It was a tight game. Harry Owen was the difference maker, as you'd expect. They would be Atalanta two nil. Just created no good chances whatsoever. Uh, both Thomas Party and Burn Doom's efforts were sort of not even half chances. They were long range pings. We couldn't we couldn't break them down, which is kind of like li watching Liverpool play defensive teams. That's how it felt. Lots of the ball, passing it around, just couldn't find a way through. But clean sheet, so not Liverpool. Um, but let let's obviously show you uh, Harry Owen's goal. It was actually a beautiful passing move. Um, hopefully, we'll catch it all. Eventually. So played out to De Pascal's. Beats his man. It looks like he's going to go for a standard cross, but decides to float it to Chris Colo. Plays it one touch to Belletti, to Owen, and he finds the bottom corner. That is. <laughs> Job done. Owen with his third of the season. Another rampaging season from Owen. <laughs> right. So let's have a look at the Europa League draw. Is this... Let's have a look at some of the big teams in here. So we've got AC Milan. Uh, we've got Andelect, Celtic, but that'd be quite a fun one. Celtic, Porto, Feyenoord, Galatasaray. Uh, we've got Hoffenheim, we know about Hull. Um, Inter Milan, Lazio, Liverpool! <gasps> come on, come on, give me Liverpool, give me Liverpool. Uh, Man City are in the uh, Europa League. Leon, oh, that's some good team. Tottenham, Valencia, okay, Shakhtar. Give me Liverpool. Right, Tottenham. To I'll take an English team. I'd like to play an English team. That would be cool. Fior no, no, I don't think we can. Oh, okay, Fiorentina, Liverpool. Disappointed in that. I know what we, ideally we want to play shit teams. Um, but, you know, big draws would be fun as well. Gilson Kirkin versus Ville. Rijeka in Croatia versus Real San Sebastian. Or Sociedad, as it's more commonly known. Uh, and elect, and elect would be fun. Zenit St. Petersburg, Basel, Dynamo Kiev, Mold in Norway, take that. Spartak Moscow, Ludogorets in Bulgaria, we'll take that. Take that Bulgarian team. Oh, it is! It's we're playing the Bulgarian team. We know Bulgaria well. We'll destroy them. Let's have AK Hull, Valencia, Celtic. That'd be a fun one. Hoffenheim, Bordeaux, Shakhtar, Feyenoord. Leisure Warsaw versus Leon Galatasaray versus Man City. Welcome to hell, Man City. Porto versus AC Milan. Oh, that's a cheeky one. And Inter versus Sporting. So, oh, we've got an Italian Portuguese double header there. I'm very happy. Ludogorets. I know they're the best team of Bulgaria. And no offense to my many, many Bulgarian subscribers, but it's Bulgaria. Right? Let's have a look at their key man. He's worth 1.3 million. Right, he's not too bad actually, but um, that that's their key man. Let's have a look at their hot prospects. 
Come on now. Come on now. That This is a walkover, surely. Surely. But just look at it. Look at it. Look at the beautiful green. We've lost one game all season against Inter Milan. If we look at the league table, we are now above Juventus. They've had actually dropped a couple of points, really. After that draw, they were demoralised when they realised they should have got smashed. Um, and they've dropped points since then. We've got a game in hand and we're a point ahead. Um, AC Milan can also overtake them if they win their game in hand. So, Inter keep winning, though. That's that's just annoying. Right. OK, so on to the cup game today. We know Harry Owen's starting. Of course he is. Right. Edit edit to the game day because it's about 10 minutes to bloody load this. <clears throat> right. Sorting me out. out. We're on game day. Ready to go. Fresh Prince has got a new contract. Um, unfortunately... It's got a £4.7 million pound release clause because his agent is a dickhead. Um, so hopefully we'll keep him. We might look to replace him at the end of the season anyway, if we're still here, which is unlike. And speaking of which, speaking of which, let's, let's just, uh, you know, just a cheeky peek at the job market. Just to see if there's anything interesting. I, I'm doing it sort of once a month at the moment as the season progresses. We're going to sort of, you know, look at it closer. So we've got... Um, nothing's jumping out. You know, we've got to think of uh, what we're... Where we are in this in the sort of footballing world now. And so some of these teams now are just sort of a bit too small for us. We've got... Don't want to go to England. Um, so until much, much later on. So don't want to stay in it. I would... I would. No, I don't want to stay in Italy. It's transfer. I would stay in Italy if the transfer fucking thing was not an issue. I'd stay in Italy and maybe get a richer club. Like Napoli, could I jump ship? No, I've built such a good team. I can't <laughs> go and jump ship. <laughs> but if it wasn't going so well, that would be a real thing because they're rich. I like rich. Um, uh, MK Dons. Got a Wolfsburger, it's a good name, but no, don't really fancy Austria. It's probably a little bit of a step down now. Um, we've got a couple of German second division teams. It's not, it's not, not a great deal. Let's have a look. Oh, Stuttgart. Right, so they're the available jobs. These are the under review. Stuttgart, rich. I could I could live with Stuttgart. Mm. Rich. Mm. Oh, look at that. Mm. He's quite good, isn't he? Tasty. Where are they in the league? They're 14th. Oh. <laughs> Don't you've tempted me, game. You've tempted me. Stuttgart. I'm just going to keep saying Stuttgart. Okay, that is tempting. It's going to come a little bit too soon because what, whatever, unless something spectacular like a Dortmund job or something came up like that, I basically want to stay until we are out of Europe and out of the title race. Okay, so because there's no point in leaving when we could actually win some proper good trophies. Um, Rome, <laughs> imagine, imagine leaving Lazio for Roma. Gee, I'd be murdered on the streets. I don't think I'll give that one a miss. I think. Um, they are rich, though. Okay, no. 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 Um, we got Liga. Um, Mexico. Let's have a look. Just a little bit down to the insecures. Just to see if there's any other teams. Real Hispalis. Espanol. That would be a fun one. Um, Hanover. Another German team. Not quite the sort of size of Stuttgart. Um... Not, not too much more. Oh, Italy. Oh, I could become the man. I could, I could do a Conte, and we could go to the Italian Wales, so we could get Harry Owen. Is uh... right. That'll do. That'll do. So let's stop looking. Let's stop window shopping. So Stuttgart is the one that's interesting, but it's going to come up. If it is going to come up, it's going to come up very soon. Uh, let's give Belletti a rest. I think for this game, we should have enough. I'm not too worried about the Italian Cup trophies. Are nice. But I can make I make a couple of changes um, just to rest ple rest people really. Uh, Alvanini can come in for Connor up, who's just been sensational this season, um, and give 
Van Doom a rest and pray Chris Colo in his preferred position. We give him a little chance there. I think if I knew that I was staying on at uh, Lazio, I think what we'd do is cash in on Van Doom because surely he's got to be worth 30, 40 million. What's his actual value? Um, ooh, ooh, wrong button. What's his actual, actual value? 17 million. I think we, we could be looking at 30 million for him. And then Chris Cola could like immediately step in, like for like replacement. Um, especially when, yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, so I think, are we, are we proving a point? No, we're picking up where we left off. Well done, yep, Stan. Yeah, so I think, so that's probably what I'd do. But I really can't see myself here for another season. Well, let, let's talk hypotheticals. If, let's say, we finish second or first and we're in the Champions League, oh, then it gets a little bit more tricky because there's a lot of money from the Champions League. We've never... Have we played in the Champions League? We haven't played in the Champions League, have we? Have we? No. No, we haven't played in the Champions League. A season in the Champions League would be fun. We've got a very good team. But I just I'm just itching. I just don't love Italy. I think that is that is the overarching problem. I quite like Lazio, apart from the real life, you know, shit that goes on at Lazio. Um I just don't like Italy. I've decided <laughs> it's become quite clear. Oh, oh Luigi, that is beautiful. He scored just before he goes off injured. That'll do, Sam. We need some more goals from you, buddy. Yeah, so I, I think uh, even if I finished second and got in the Champions League, I think at that point, if I did finish second and got into the Champions League, then I should be able to move to a Champions League club, I feel. Um, anyway, so that wouldn't be... wouldn't be That would sort of soften the blow. That's a good... I like this free kick until you get tackled and the Owen breaks with his pace. Wow. Wow. It wasn't Owen's fault. The other guy ran the wrong way. Not forward, apparently. All right, come on. They're a small little team. We could just put them to bed, kill them off, move on, get the next one done. Good tackle, Lundberg. That's what we like to see. Rita. Got all the space in the world. What's he going to do with it? Sort of run, stop and start, but he's found Luigi. Can he find the Owen? Party. He scored recently. Ristic. Ball into Alvanini. He's got a goal in his locker and he's hit the right in the corner. Off the woodwork. We should be cruising. I'm not used to having this sort of good form. I'm not used to going into games expecting to win games. It's weird. I feel dirty. And I like it. Right. Oh, there we go. Rita's got booked again. All the time. All the time. <laughs> There's a there's an 80% chance he'll get sent off now. I'm just going to leave him on to prove a point of him getting sent off, right? He's definitely going to get sent off now, I've said that. Okay, it's only a one goal league going into half time. We've dominated, but our, our shots aren't very good. We've hit the woodwork twice. Uh, kick on in the second half. Don't need to make any changes. Don't know what's going on outside. I don't know if you can hear that banging. Um, I'm in Northern Ireland, but that's definitely not gunshots, okay? Come on, boys. 21 shots. <laughs> this is not looking good. Come on. Put it to bed. Um, Bianco can get some match fitness, I think. I st even though we're 1-0 up, I'm comfortable that we can do this. So um, Alvanini can come off for the youngster Personi. Third choice left back. That's how much of a gamble I am. Yeah. Right, 15 minutes left. Are we just going to see it out? Can we nick a second? God, could this be a more one sided 1 0? <laughs> it's just, we've stopped. The issue I have at the moment is that we're still, you know, winning games and we're still. Don't fuck this up. Okay. We're still winning games and we're still undefeated for however long, but. We've stopped creating really good chances. The last few games have just last my five games. 
normally we were creating at least five, six half chances a game and a couple of... Oh, that's just a horror show. Who the fuck was that? Oh, I was saying Bianco, he's shit anyway. It's expected of him. And we're just not creating the good chances we were, so we'll we'll keep an eye on that. Right, Chris Colo driving forward. Oh, it's lovely. It's beautiful. Oh, that's unlucky. Little ripple. Good effort, mate. Good effort. Harry Owen. Has anybody seen Harry Owen? I think he might have not turned up and he's gone to work in the burger van. Ah, there was, there's, there's a 1-0 of excitement and frivolity. Um, I, I agree. Fell short of expectations, okay. Goalkeeper's pissed off and so is Bianco. That's not, not a big deal. Right, we got the win. That's the most important thing. Through to the next round. Right, on to play Vincenza. Right, here we go. Second game. Just like to point out that we are 18 games unbeaten, which is a Lancia record. Thank you very much. I expect a statue. Right, um, let's go with Belletti and go for the dream team of Belletti and Luigi. Luigi's not set the world alight so far. He's got that goal in the last game. I'm hoping he'll keep that up. Otherwise, I'll you know give him a slap. Van, we're going for full team here. We're going for full team. Van Doom, Chris Colo, Lundberg, Party. Um, we're going to go for what's his face? Hudrima Flip. Yes, but Connor up. Mancini, Ochna. And Rita at right back. The Fresh Prince in goal. Let's do this. We're going to just smash them and move on. They're 10th in the league. I know I know, my confidence is is going to fall horribly apart when we lose a couple of games. So we've got games in hand. All is good. Don't worry that we've dropped to a fourth. Dropped to a fourth. Inter really need to stop winning so many fucking games though. Really. Come on Inter now. <clears throat> they knocked out the cup. Knocked out the Champions League it looks like. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah, because we saw them in the Europa League, didn't we? So they're winning everything that's not related to Europe or other cup of games. Just winning in the league. That's what they're concentrating on them. And they are kind of destroying teams. Right, okay. That's fine. Not enough substitutes. That's the story of our lives at Lazio. Okay, come on, boys. Get another win. I want to see some... This game, I want to see some half chances and clear-cut chances. Their key man is Paolo Grillo. Um, that's the key man. They're tenth in the league. It's not like they're doing her bad. Like, wow. Okay. Um. Okay, it's fine. It's all good. Um, dominate the match. That's what I like to see. Bit of go on the app stat. Mix it up a little bit. Right there we go. Lots of green. Mm, look at that high texture grass. Mm, no, no, no. Right, McCohen burgers there in the stand. <laughs> Right. He must have spent a lot of money on advertising. Here we go. Crush them. Move on. we got bigger fish to fry. Okay, first goal coming up. I've got... I'm, 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 I, I'm overconfident here. I know I am. I can't help myself. It's going to come back to bite me. I should have some dignity. A penalty. 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 Ref. Hello? Come on, ref, we paid you enough money to give us that penalty. Something is coming out of our bank account somewhere. All right, Van Doom, Belletti, back to goal. Chris Colo, lovely ball out to Connor up, who's going to fire one in low and hard. No, he's going to float one into near post. Van Doom! Oh, oh, I did a, I did a little celebration. Oh, crush me green screen. All the world's going, man. I thought it was in. I did. Uh, uh. That's it. It's enough to drive me to drink. Look, you can tell I'm a hardened drinker, can't you? This tiny, tiny bottle of salted caramel vodka that I drank about four episodes ago, had a little sip, and touched it since. It's really hard to drink out of small bottles, by the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. Oh, look at that. I'm fucking... Oh, I'm wasted. I'm so drunk. Whoa. Right, two clear-cut chances. That's better so far. Now, please just score one of them. Rita floats one in. There's a crowded box. They've headed it away. Is it going to come straight back? It is indeed. Lundberg. Party. 
Floats one in. Belletti. Yes. Oh, my God. What a save. And he caught it. He's like, like fucking glue hands. Checking for glue, referees. Okay, three clear-cut chances. This is better. We do need to score them, though. I know I said I wanted clear-cut chances. I did also mean goals. Loki's angry at the fact. Go on, Luigi. Go on. Oh, it's blocked it. And again. Oh, it's blocked again. Come on now. Loki, shut up, mate. The neighbours home, are they? You seeing them off? You know they live there, Loki. They've lived there for the past four years, yeah? All right, Lundberg. Here we go. Come on. Four clear-cut chances now, people. This is goal time. Van Doom, lovely ball out to Rita. He's going to ping one in. No, it's been... Def oh, they're defending really well. Basodiello. Easy. Easy for Lundberg. Chris Colo, all the time in the world. He's going to hit one from distance. Yeah! Great goal from Chris Colo. We know he's got that in his locker. Come on, son. In off. In the air. Loki. Enough. Enough. Wow, he actually listened to me. He's overexcited because the neighbours have got home. He likes barking at them until they play with him. Right. <laughs> oh, God, look at that flare. It just looks like it's burning people alive. Somebody asked me to talk about that in my ramble about what do I think of flares. I think they're a stupid idea. <laughs> there you go. I think they're ridiculous. Unless you have a, a part cordoned off particularly for flares. Because that might be great for you. Bring out your flare and going like that. It's the people around you that might not want to be choked to death by smoke, fumes or flames. You know, that sort of thing. Just, just mild things. Lovely ball out, Rita. It's been good so far today. Can he find Belletti, maybe? Big target man? No, they've, they're marking him with two men. Could this be the, the counter-attack in Gracia? Ball forward to Al-Hassan Lamin. Go on, near post. Oh. How have they gone and scored that? How have they... Oh, and a squeaky as well. Keep goalkeeper, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, that is just a joke. <laughs> That's just a joke. Hold on one second. There we go. Just had to shout at my dogs. He's getting overexcited because there's lots of people going about. Right. How have we conceded this goal? How have we won all? Like Grillo, their key man. Yeah, Chris Colo's like, no, mate. No. Right, come on. I'm still confident. Four clear-cut chances. First half. I think we can do it. Luigi needs to put in a performance here, boys. I did say before the game, Luigi, I warned you. Don't go and get another one. There we go. Van Doom. Loads of space. He's got overlappers. He's got Luigi. Can Luigi do something? Oh, there's a lovely ball from Luigi. Rita, can he find somebody in the box at any point in his future? Van Doom! Yes! He snuck it in in the near post. That's horrific goalkeeping. So I feel like it's fair now because that was awful goalkeeping it, he didn't even put any power on the header it wasn't even a great ball in Rita there is look uh, jelly hands lets it in it's 2-1 early on in the second half right half an hour left I'm taking Luigi off. That was a good pass he did, but he's just not its not showing enough. He's not showing enough. I do apologise for the dogs. They are playing rambunctiously outside. They're having a great time out there. All right, come on. Can we get a third, please? Please, please get a third. Oh, that Rita's been booked. As usual. Ten minutes left. Let's just go uh, count time. Just... I'm just worried they're going to get a second shot on target at this stage. Um, let's get Rita off. No point in risking it. Just time-wasting sub. Last couple of minutes. Oh, no. This is what I was talking about. This is what I was talking about. The key man, Grillo. Tackle him. Make a tackle. 
Somebody, there's three of you around him. Make a tackle. Oh no, this is feels bad. This feels goal. This feels like smells like a goal. Oh no, I knew it. Fucking knew it. It's fucking Grillo as well. God damn bollocks, shit, tits, wank. <sighs> Fuck off. I don't want to see your fucking replays. Oh, how have we not won this game? I knew they were gonna. Con- I knew they were gonna score two shots on target, two goals. <laughs> Go on, hit another one, Chris Colo. Lovely. Oh, penalty! Oh, what? Offside. Oh. <clears throat> How have we let this one slip? Ah, oh, just gifting. With games like this, we're just gifting into Milan the title. I'm going full aggressive. Full aggressive. <sighs> that was awful. I just knew they were going to score that goal. Bloody Grillo. We took the piss out of him before the game and he goes and scores against us. Still undefeated, but that is just a sh- shitty McShit result. That is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Rita. Yeah. Party. Yeah. Chris Colo. Good. 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 We have to pay 800 grand. That's fine. Um, he's won a appearance of going up to a pay increase of 15 grand. Oh, that's fine. You can have 15 grand, mate. You probably deserve it. We're 2.8 million in debt because we're getting no European money now. The debt is going to go up again. Should we have a look at the projection? Because that's always worth a fucking giggle, isn't it? Projection. 31 million. It's worse than it was last season. Hooray. Uh, Thank you, Mike. There we go, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed the barking because that's pretty much what this episode was. Thank you very much. Like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.